Hey everyone, it's Up North Collectors here. We're opening up our third box of 2018 Heritage High Number. This is obviously a Tops product. You get one a hit per box, either a relic or an autograph. So we'll open this up, see what we get. So far, uh, we've gotten two uh, relic cards. So we're looking for our first autograph. About three to five autographs per case. And this is once again the third box out of our case. This uh, we got from our local card shop, well, local to us at least, about an hour away, we don't have anything close, um, called The Vault. Uh, and they hooked us up with a good deal on this. So when in this product was pre-selling, it was selling quite high. Uh, now the price has dropped down to a little bit more reasonable. Um, still a little bit high, but not bad. It's uh, not terrible. Considering what you can pull out of it. It's pretty good value, actually. It, it, at the original price, it wasn't amazing but this is pretty good price so yeah ain't it two grand what is that of april ain't it two grand now and then oh i think ain't mowers, it? mowers two run single okay ain't it two grand tyler austin so we've had um a lot of fun opening heritage high number this this fall we weren't really planning to buy a case but when we got a good deal on it and we had opened up some hobby boxes, some on camera, some off camera, and it was a blast. Yeah, so we did really good out of them, too. Yeah, so. we did really well out of them. So, so far, our first two boxes haven't been that great, but once again, two out of 12 boxes. All it takes in Heritage, like any case, is one card, and yeah. you're, you're, you're all set. The beauty of Heritage is the sets and the inserts, everything seems to sell well because there's a ton of set builders out there Yep. of this product. Not... In general, and people people product. try to get the complete master set of Heritage for yep. the year. So, right. Well, they try to get all the inserts, all the chrome, all the relics. Yep. Um, obviously, they can't get some of them, but uh, the base stuff they can. Jose Altuve. You don't see this card. I feel like that's a different card. It's not. Yeah, no, it's not. It. I've seen it many seen times, it. but it just does some catch your eye, some don't. Yep. That's that's how it goes. Right, next pack here. So I think next week, Tuesday, if I'm not mistaken, there's a Christian Yelich. Yelich. That's nice. That's nice. He's been playing awesome in the running for MVP of the National League. Um, next week, Tuesday, I think is a wild card game. I, think I can't so. remember if it's National League or American League or if they both play on the same day. I don't recall. I don't think they do, but. This one's got a decal in it. I no, they're not in the same day. They usually aren't. They usually they spread it never out. Never have been before. Yeah, so. it would surprise me if they if it was that way. One of the decals been about one every two a box. Yeah, two one, yeah, two, box. yeah, two to three a box. Yep. Yeah, people collect the decal edge cards. I um, like the decal. Yeah, actually. I do too. Pretty cool looking. One the, of my favorite insert. Yeah, they there's and it's nice too because the the hot rookies have some of the inserts and those are kind of cool too so here's another decal edge this is going to be oh, anduhar no De gregorius uh yeah, yeah. luke always wants me to guess, to guess at it. um it's now look cool. at this card look how off-centered it is we're not into grading that much but you can i can just tell some of the some of the heritage are like that so beware of it when you're when you're yeah. buying uh heritage you know look at the centering why uh, PSA these, not BGS. BGS would kill you on that, but PSA usually is a little bit more lenient with centering. Yeah, I don't know about that. They're, That's what they're, everyone says. Are they? Well, they're, they're still pretty strict. Here's another one. It's like the last card in, in each pack has been off. Usually PSA is considered to be a lot more lenient with centering. And then BGS is lenient on a couple other things. It just is how they Right, every so right, every but right, everybody's does a little, little different. Here's uh Collabor Torres. I'm not sure if that's true or not, but Right. You you hear people, things. That's what people who grade a lot of stuff will say about This it. is a really cool card. Yeah. That's a nice insert. The Otani Trout Duda. And then hit two home runs this year. Cool. Yeah, we got to see him hit two home runs. <laughs> His first multi home run game. We were at the national in Cleveland. And we went to the Indians-Angels game, and he hit two home runs that day. So that was awesome. Now can I open up this pack? I've never opened up packs before, so I don't know. Hokey smokes. They're bad. 
Open up, open up, pack. I'm trying not to break the corners off. All right, there we go. All right, wow, that was interesting. Yeah, so uh, this video is going to take 45 minutes because I can't open packs. Uh, Garrett Cole. So you, we don't have a ton of those, I don't think. No, we don't have a ton of Garrett Cole. There's a Otani. We've pulled some nice Otanis out of uh, this product this year, out of 2018 Heritage in general. Uh, we were yeah. fortunate enough to pull the Otani short print out of the regular Heritage, and then we've pulled a Chrome Refractor. I think we pulled that off camera, and we pulled a Action of Otani. Mm -hmm. Pulled an Otani 101 autograph. We pulled an Otani 101 autograph, yeah. That was at the yeah, national. Good luck with yeah, so Tani is usually we don't pull the biggest name. No, we pull some good cards, but not the not some of the biggest names. I mean that. We got an autograph of pretty much all of the. We haven't gotten an autograph of Acuna or uh, Torres yet, and out of like this year's. Products. Yeah, we pulled an Acuna refractor out of here's a short print. Um, that's not an action, although it's it does look like an action. It's, it's greatly off center too. Um, yeah, so we did pull, uh, what was that? What were you just talking about? The right. Oh, the Okuna. Yeah, the Okuna yeah. was oh, a yeah, the Bowman's, best. Bowman's Best. Yeah, Bowman's Best. It was a refractor we, we autograph. We still own that. We still right? own it, yep. Mm -hmm. We pulled a Torres, too, out of Bowman's Best. I think we have a case coming of that, right? We do, and that's december -ish. Yeah, that comes out in December. I'm looking forward to that. That's that was a really a ton of fun, fun last break, year. yeah. You get four autographs in a box, and... Fairly reasonable for that price. I mean, for that that kind of product and all the names that are in it. And I, I'm guessing like Soto will be in there. I oh, yeah, don't for know sure. for sure. He's not in Chrome though. A Bowman Chrome. He's not in there. Okay, so that's a. Uh, There's just a high number. High number, right? You just don't see many of. I no, know, you don't I, see many of the his. First one, honestly. I think it's the second, second. one. I pulled one out of a retail yeah, I box. Say, I haven't seen that one. And. I thought it was a very uh, a different type of variation, and it wasn't. It's was just a short print. It's a kind of funky looking card. It does look it, like this one has the relic in it. Okay, so here's the relic. It was in a different spot this time. Yeah. Uh, Profar and oh, that's oh, cool. Sweet. Ben Tendi. One I'll for the that. PC. That's awesome. If you're gonna get a relic. Might as well get a PC relic. So. Yeah. It's <clears throat> pretty cool. John Jay, Clayton Richard, and Ronald Torres. This box has been slow, though. There hasn't been hardly anything. Yeah, no, it's been a slow... Yeah, we haven't got a chrome or... Anything. Oh, no, wait, we did get a chrome. No, we didn't. No, we didn't. No, that was in the last box. I'm Just confused now. So Santana SP. Now, that David Bo Bote, or I think that's how you say his name. So, a rookie. He uh, had another big hit last, really? last night or the night before. I think he had a, a double or triple scoring... Uh, Akuna. Go ahead or game winning runs. King Cole. Has he had a good season? I haven't paid much attention to him. Is that David Bote? No. Oh, who? Garrett Cole. I think he's been decent, but I, I, I don't heard know. a lot about him, so I don't really know. A lot of those Richard Astros Jackson. are under the radar. Yeah. Like, they're doing really well, but. So even so, even since they won the World Series, they still don't get much attention. Who's been doing really well for them uh, is uh, Br uh, Bregman. Yeah, he's done really well for them this year. He was a good last year in the World Series. He really yeah on strong too. Plowicki, Martin Gomez, Greg Holland, McCutcheon. Now that's going to be a short print. Yep. So this is not a, we don't have as many duplicates in this box no. of the short prints. Win. Should only be one more high number, so there might be some interesting things in these last couple packs here. Well, hopefully, a nice chrome refractor of some of Soto or Acuna, or a, or a throwback. Or a throwback. Sure. That'd be nice. Yep. Here's a Gliber Torres insert. Austin Jackson, Sanchez, Arroyo, and Stasi. A few more packs to go, and we're trying to do these in around a 10 minute mark obviously not wanting to rush but don't want to take forever to do it so this is going to be patrick corbin i wasn't even going to guess on that one i would not have known that one either well let's make luke guess next time all right so three packs to go i would this... have said robbie ray that's who I was oh robbie ray yeah that's he's in a lot of stuff known pitcher anthony <laughs> santander lance lynn we pulled a magenta back of Lance Lynn out of retail 
Jim, excuse me, Giancarlo Stanton, Jose Martinez, Escobar Garcia. So, unless we miss something, been kind of a bad box. Yeah, it's not been the best, not been the best box here, but Maben, uh, Schultz, O'Neill, Cody Bellinger, Robinson. Vera and Vasa. Now, did we get a? Did we get an action yet? No. Okay, so this should have the action in it. Well, you, technically, maybe. Sometimes you don't get actions. Maybe it's the throwback. Maybe this box is set up for the last pack. I've had good things come out of last packs before. <laughs> yeah, and we have wrappers going everywhere. Tucker Barnhart, Blake Swihart, Trevor Williams, Dixon Machado. And Carlos Santana action. So this box was terrible. Yeah, not a good box. Not not the best box. It was um, really bad. Good box for building a set, and that's about it. So There's thankfully, we didn't pay a hundred and twenty-five dollars for this box. I mean, the relic was cool. Yeah, the relic was cool. But like this is. I, you know, I wouldn't say this was a horrible box. I'd say this is uh, average to below. I mean, this mm, is heritage. No, heritage. this is this is pretty bad because there's no chrome. You well, that's get, true. That's true. That's action. true. There was no chrome in here, was there? a decent relic. There's nothing yeah, else. Yeah, that's weird. Here. That's weird, though. There wasn't even a base chrome. If Usually, there was a chrome, it would be an average box, but there's yeah, no chrome. There's, there's no, no black. There's yeah. There's nothing. Yeah, that's true. All right. I'll take it back. It was pretty bad. I try to be more of an optimist, but I can't. All right. So thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this break. Please comment below. Let us know what you think of it. Uh, also, uh, hit the thumbs up button if you like what you saw. Uh, we're going to be breaking the fourth box out of this case and looking for our first autograph. So stay tuned for that break. We hope to post that soon. Uh, hopefully you're doing well and having fun collecting. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do. We'd love to add you to our subscription list. Uh, stay tuned for more breaks. I hit the little... Uh, bell button down below so you can be aware when we post a new break. All right. Thanks for watching. Take care. Have fun collecting guys. We'll see you soon.